If you ask a Hurricane Hunters crew member why they do what they do, the answer is to the point. We feel like we are saving lives and helping people out along the way because we are getting information to them that make, hopefully they will make the right decisions when they find out the storm's coming in their, in their path and they will evacuate. And that's why we do what we do. We got a first-hand look at a very important mission taken on by very few. The mission of punching into hurricanes to get real-time data to the National Hurricane Center. Our ride-along put us on a WC-130J airplane with a crew from the U.S. Air Force Reserve's 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron. Most people think it's a crazy thing to do for a living and wonder, how do the pilots get their planes to punch through the super violent winds of a hurricane? With his training, skill, and a good plane, pilots like Captain Lucas Calder say it's not that big a deal. So basically it looks like we're kind of on a skateboard. We're pointed one way and we're driving another. But first they have to get to the storm from Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi. After a few hours in the air, as we approached Matthew's eye, there had been a few bumps. Well, this has been a pretty crazy ride so far. Not terribly bumpy. We haven't gotten thrown around a whole lot. And then we were in. And the calm inside this monster storm was amazing. And while we marveled at this incredible sight, the crew kept working, deploying drop sons directly into the storm. As the instruments fall through the storm, the data is transmitted real time to the plane and is relayed directly to the National Hurricane Center in Miami. And on this mission, larger sea surface temperature probes were also dropped into the storm to gather important data about the ocean's potential heat energy, the fuel that can intensify storms, like pouring gasoline on a fire. Uh, can we hang out the eye? Yes, we can hang out the eye. With a total of six passes through the eye, the crew had completed their mission. They had sent a massive amount of data back to the National Hurricane Center to record Matthew's current intensity and to help predict its possible future track. And with that done, it was time to go home and turn the continuing mission over to the next crew on its way out, once again into the heart of the hurricane. It's an important job, a life-saving job, and we salute the crews from the Air Force Reserve and NOAA for what they do to keep us safer every hurricane season. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.